So ClickFunnels just came out with ClickFunnels 2.0 and I'm not familiar with it so I have gotten it so that I can have a look and share with you because I am very familiar with Kartra and with GrooveFunnels so I thought I'd make a very quick ClickFunnels 2.0 versus Kartra versus GrooveFunnels just to give you an idea of what the differences are, the pros and the cons. Now again for ClickFunnels I'm not super familiar with it yet but there are some things that I've noticed right off the bat. Um, so I'll, I'll share that with you in just a minute. If you're new here, hi, I'm Amanda Vander Gulick and I actually help entrepreneurs like yourself create passive income from your passions. And I also help you raise money smart kids. So if you're interested in those kind of things, then, you know, keep me in mind and perhaps subscribe to my channel. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look here. So this is the, the ClickFunnels 2.0 system, or the, the dashboard rather. And you can see here, it's got your dashboard, it's got, it's, it's a nice, clean look it's definitely a nice clean look it's um it's a little medical in my opinion like it's a bit too clean if you have a look at the dashboard here for Kartra for example it's very warm and friendly and welcoming and I really like that I can see what I want to see at a glance the same with Groove Funnels it's very clean just like Click Funnels 2.0 but it's also warm and friendly like Kartra so um, that's just my very first impression is that I do find it a little empty and a little confusing to uh, to work with because you would think over here it's nice and easy but when you click on it sites and funnels it's you know you, you fill in your your customize your first funnel and so on but I find it's a little clunky you've got the ability to create blogs which is amazing because with Kartra you can't create blogs yet it's possibly something they're looking at I'm not sure Groove funnels, you absolutely can create blogs and I use it all the time. All right, so going back to ClickFunnels 2.0, I just find that like the funnels section and um, the pages, I had a little play around to try to see what the page system was like. So this is the page builder and I'll show you quickly what the page builder looks like in Kartra and in GrooveFunnels so you can get a comparison. So this is the page builder and it's a little confusing because up here, see how this popped up and you can see this delete button over here or this save button here. And you would think that that is for the whole page, even though it says section, because it's right up at the top here. The very first time I went to save it, I went to click on that and then I realized, oh, it's actually for the section, which is awesome because it is great to be able to save sections so you can reuse them over and over again. So just a little heads up, if you want to save the page, you have to go a little bit higher. <laughs> that was all. And to add them, it's, it's fairly easy. You just hover where you want to add the element. So if you're inside an element, you would so click there and then choose what element so let's say a video that you want to add so let's pop a video in here and then if you want to work with it so here's the image and then if you want to actually look at the settings you click over here and that's where you can figure out the size the the colors the the ratios the borders corners shadows and so on and so that is up there. And then in here, the if you want to animate it, so if you want to trigger it, maybe that it bounces when people come to it, or maybe it loops in the background, that kind of thing. You've got logic here to, I suppose, I'm not familiar with the logic part of it, so I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that it's got a condition perhaps for a section. This is again, just my guess on this from my experience, is that perhaps a section only becomes visible to one of your viewers if you have a specific tag for them. So let's say, for example, they come to a page for the first time, you might have a special offer there. But then if repeat customers, somebody who's coming back over and over again, you don't want them to see that section. So I'm guessing that that is perhaps what it is. I know in Kartra, you can absolutely do that. And in GrooveFunnels, it's something they're working on. It will be coming, I'm sure. So yeah, I find it a little bit clunky, like, I want to just put the image in and I'm like, okay, here's the image URL. Okay, so if I wanted to add an image, image gallery, and then I upload, so I've uploaded one image for you. So we'll choose that and boom, that was nice and easy. So if you wanted to upload an image, you would just come over here and if you need to add an image, you would just click this one, upload images. All right, so let's just do a quick comparison with Kartra. So if I go to pages in Kartra, 
And I really like how the, the layout is in Kartra. It's really clear and easy. The same with Groove, really clear and easy to find what you want to find, whether you're looking for pages or your mail system, your affiliate area, videos, blogs. Again, GrooveFunnels has a blog. Kartra does not have a blog yet, and I don't know if they have any plans for that. I hope they do because Kartra is awesome. And But if we go to pages and I just create a new page, so the same as before. So I'm just going to launch the builder and I'm just going to call this a test page and I won't give it a particular category just so that you can have a quick look and see. And the page builder I find in Kartra is actually fairly simple. On the side it's super easy to see what you want. It's just simple drag and drop. So for example you first could choose a section. So you could choose a, an empty section for example and then you could pop the components that you want into that empty section. So let's say we want to have three columns or two columns in there. We could pop it in there and then let's say that we want to have I'll choose a picture since that's what we did with ClickFunnels 2.0. So let's pop a picture in here and then I'll show you how easy it is. You just press the edit button up here and then that's where you would upload your picture. So I'll just choose, oh I'll choose this one for right now. And again if you need to upload one it's just right up here. So I click confirm and you have to press apply. So you notice with ClickFunnels 2.0 when we put it in it immediately popped it in and as soon as you added it which is very nice. So here you have to apply it first and then it pops up. Now with Groove, if we go to Groove Pages and we open up the builder, so let's just choose one of my sites here. I have a bunch of them. Um, we'll just try, choose this one, my main site. And what I'm going to do is create a new page as well. So over here is where you choose your funnels or individual pages and this is where you would add a new page so the plus is right there. So I do like that in Kartra and in ClickFunnels it's a little easier to see where to add a new page however GrooveFunnels is really good at making things really nice and tidy and again I'm just going to choose a blank page and they also have the option just like with ClickFunnels 2.0 to simply choose your block there. I'm going to just do an empty block, empty container, Okay, and then I am going to get, let's see here, we want to do an image again. Let's do, again, the same as with Kartra, we'll do two containers, and then we're going to choose media, and I'm going to put an image in. Okay, and then to, if, to go in here, what you need to do is actually click on settings, and that is where you choose your image, and then you can see I have a bunch of images in here because I use Groove the most, so we'll just choose this image here, and you have the ability to, this is something I really love about GrooveFunnels, is that it's super easy to get your SEO, your search engine optimization information into your pages super quick and it reminds you at every step so that your website will be fully optimized to be found quickly in Google and, uh, and also that the pages load really fast, faster than any other platform. So that is just something I really love. So I'm just gonna call this test. I'm not gonna link it to anything update and there it is. So I do like that feature that I already have the SEO component in there, the alt image tag in there, which helps your website be found faster. So that is a bonus. Um, now saving is super easy and here it's really obvious. You can preview your pages, which is really nice and easy. In Kartra you can preview, but to preview you actually have to first go over here to actions and then press preview and then open the preview. So there's a lot of steps, whereas you can see with GrooveFunnels it was one button, so it's three. With ClickFunnels, if I want to preview this, let's have a look here and see, up uh, an eye, and it loads. All right, so that is nice and quick as well. So that's a bonus that ClickFunnels 2.0 has paid attention to. Okay, so let's get out of pages because that was just to give you an idea of that. Oh, before we do, I'll give you a really quick example of doing a video. So here's ClickFunnels 2.0 and we're going to edit this video. So let me just choose a video from my YouTube channel. Let's just see here. Okay. So let's choose one of my videos. And bah, why not? Well, here are the essential tools that every person needs for running an online business. That's appropriate, right? And of course, there's a, a lovely 
add there, but let's get the share code and copy that. Okay, now let's go back to ClickFunnels and we're gonna go in here and we're going to edit the URL video. So you can do YouTube videos, Vimeo, Voomly, Wistia, and you can also do your custom embeds, which is very nice. Now you can do those with Kartra and with GrooveFunnels as well. So if we add, let's finish this. So I put this in and it popped it in, but it's not giving me everything and it's not playing quite possibly. It wants just that part. Nope. All right, so it is not being very easy. Okay, so that is something I clearly have to work on. I'm not sure why. With Kartra, with the test site, let's pop one in there and let's do a video. And we'll just grab one of their video players. All right, I do find with Kartra, you have to be very specific with um, when you pop something in, it's very touchy, which can be a little annoying. All right, and then you would choose which kind. So you've got Vimeo, Wistia, YouTube, and Kartra video as well. So you can host your videos in Kartra too, just like you can with GrooveFunnels and possibly with ClickFunnels 2.0, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So we'll pop that in, we'll apply it, and there it is right there. Now with GrooveFunnels, it's super easy as well. So we'll go over here, we'll grab our media, we'll grab a video player, and it's much um, easier to pop it in, less sensitive. And then you click on it, press the settings, and in, nope. okay, there we go. <laughs> press the settings, and then pop your code in here, but you want to, I'll just double check here, but I'm pretty sure you just need the ending because you've already told it it is YouTube. So let's just see if we update and close, if it goes in. Yeah, see it's not showing it. So with GrooveFunnels, you want to just get rid of that part and just have the ending because it already is looking at the YouTube link. So there you go. So that was pretty easy. So now let's get out of here. Let's go back to just home here. We'll, in order to get out of Kartra, you need to save your progress and then you need to return to the dashboard. So that takes a little bit and then you can go to your main dashboard. With GrooveFunnels, you want to save your thing and then over here, so you don't have to close it, you just go to your dashboard. As long, Make sure you save, always save everything. I would do that in ClickFunnels as well. And then in ClickFunnels, we'll just close that one and we'll close that and we'll close that that one so it's not showing and I'm not sure why we've got yeah so autoplay off lazy load yes I wonder if lazy loads possible and I don't see like an apply button or something so I'm not sure why it's not adding it so that is interesting that it's not grabbing the video from YouTube as easily as Kartra and GrooveFunnels I'm sure I must be missing something uh, something I'm, I'll learn in the future and then I'll share it with you when I figure it out. But uh, for now, video is not very easy. Okay, so we'll save that and we'll head out, leave. So it's not quite as easy. I have to say that I like Groove best for how easy it is to switch between the different apps. Just make sure you're always saving. Kartra is you have to exit each one, which is a little time consuming. And ClickFunnels apparently also takes a little bit to exit, so a little bit of a con for, for Kartra and ClickFunnels for that, and a little bit of a pro for Groove. Something I like about Kartra is that it is the oldest of the three all-in-one platforms, and so everything works so much better and smoother because they've had more years to fine tune and tweak. And they were pretty fast at building out their program or their platform and making everything smooth. Groove, I was a beta member of Kartra and of Groove Funnels. And with Groove, they have completely blown me away with how quickly they've improved things. There are still many, you know, little glitches here and there, as there still are with Kartra and as there will be with ClickFunnels 2.0. It just is the name of the game, and that's okay because the most important thing is that you have support. So with Groove funnels, it's really easy. You just click down here, or if you're on the main dashboard, it's up here, this little lifesaver. Click there for the help desk, and you go to their Groove support. And then they have the option for you to either search for answers, or you can ask your question with email or chat, and they are fast. If their chat is offline, you just send them an email. It's really easy. With Kartra, 
if you have any help, again, they've got the little lifesaver thing up here, support, you can search in the Karcher Wiki to find what it is that you need. Or you can say contact us at the bottom and then you can figure out where you need your things. So as far as a quick chat is not as easy to, feel, to get to. I do remember they had something like that, but clearly it's not as easy to get to anymore, which is a shame. The chat is amazing to have that support. And in ClickFunnels, I don't actually see anywhere in here where you have easy access to help. Um, oh, actually, I am completely wrong. Just scrap that. It's right down there at the bottom. Help. It just was not super obvious to me. Okay, and then in here, contact. So then you can choose what kind of things you need contact for and so on. But here to help, let's see if they have a quick Okay, so they've got articles that they'll search. You can have a feature request, you can give feedback. Let's say I needed, let's see here, you can send a message. Okay, so it looks like they don't have live chat. Although, hang on, our usual reply time is one day. Okay, so I don't see a live chat. Um, just more of an, an AI help bot where you send your message. So as far as having a platform that would give you the most immediate help, I would have to go with GrooveFunnels because it is right away. And Kartra used to be like that, so I'm not sure if I am missing something here. Community technical ideas, yeah, I'm not sure if they've closed it or if I'm just missing something. Product support, and let's just have a look in one of these. No, it's just, aha, there it is. Okay, so they do have a chat feature. They've just moved it. Uh, again, I've been switched, I switched from Kartra to GrooveFunnels, and so I'm really familiar with GrooveFunnels now, and so here you'd start your chat bot. All right, easy peasy. Just a couple more steps. So again, with Groove, it's really obvious because it was right on the page, and with Kartra, you have to search a little bit, and with ClickFunnels, it was down here, but it doesn't look like you'd have immediate contact. Anyway, I know those are just a couple of things, but I thought it would help you get started to get a feel. All three of them will be amazing because they are run by some of the strongest and most incredible internet marketers. Kartra and GrooveFunnels were both founded by Mike Phil Same, who has been my mentor since like 2007. He is awesome. Um, he is no longer with Kartra. He sold out his, his rights to Kartra so he could build GrooveFunnels, which he wanted to build because he learned things while building Kartra that he wanted to improve upon and make even better. And that is why um, he created GrooveFunnels. So I kind of consider GrooveFunnels the, the advanced version of Kartra. However, it's a couple of years behind, so it has a couple more glitches in it compared to Kartra at the moment. So if you need something that works immediately right away, Kartra is probably your best choice. If you're looking for something that is going to rank your websites the best, the fastest, um, is very friend user friendly to use, I would go with GrooveFunnels and ClickFunnels I can't really recommend because I haven't had a chance to try it out. So if you wanna try it out, they do have a free trial. So ClickFunnels has a 14 day free trial. Uh, currently, if you're watching this right when I post this video, they actually have a 30 day free trial and like free free, so like nothing down. Kartra has a $1 14 day free trial. I'll put all of the links to these in the description below. But the great thing about GrooveFunnels is that they actually give you full access, no time limit to their base platform, which actually includes everything you need to start an entire online business. You can't really get better than that. And then as you would grow and need more capabilities, then they have a pro level as well. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them for you. I'm really excited to share all three platforms. They are the best. So if you're serious about having an online business, choose at least one of these three. I'll leave the comment, the link to the, each of them down below. And if you want an in-depth review of why I'm actually moving my websites from Kartra to GrooveFunnels, then you can watch this video next.